Hello my loves and welcome back. My name is Wahida, Caribbean beauty influencer. For all of my new subscribers, hello and thank you so much for joining. This video, I know it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video, but that is because there has been so many moving parts behind the scenes and a girl needed to get her shit together. <laughs> but I am back and we are going to be doing a all over cosmetics video from face to eyes to skincare to all of it. Specifically the brand new Ride or Die collection from Ofra Cosmetics. If you guys haven't seen this, oh my god, you are so missing out. You need to purchase it. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my skin tone, on my skin, how it works, how it blends, how it applies, and all of that jazz so you can see for yourself whether or not it's worth your money. It really is, so don't worry. Also, really quickly before we jump into the video, I just want to give you guys a little something back. So there's a little surprise in the description box, so go and check that out and make sure you enter. Okay, I already have my brows on because honestly, this video would be forever long if I did my brows on camera, but we are first going to be moisturizing our skin. And girl, if you haven't tried this moisturizer, you are missing out. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Oil-Free Lightweight Hydrating Moisturizer. I'm gonna show you guys the one that I actually use to show how much I love this. So this is a brand new one and this is the one that I have been using in my kids. Absolutely love this. And I'm gonna go into the one that I use because you know what? I don't wanna open up a new one. So we're just gonna literally dot this on my skin. I do like four dots. Again, I do have normal to dry skin just as a reference. And I'm just going to buff this in. Such a great, great moisturizer. For foundation, I'm gonna be going into the Ofra Cosmetics Absolute Cover Foundation. I'm going to be mixing two shades. We're going into 7.20 as well as 7.5. I'm just gonna mix it on a little tray here. I am using the Ofra Cosmetics sponge. I just wanna show you guys the color match. It's literally spot on. It's like my skin, but better. The foundation coverage also is like medium to full coverage, more on the full coverage side. So you can always customize this foundation to your personal preference really quickly want to show you guys the difference between foundation and then no foundation you can really obviously see i do have marks i do have texture and the foundation literally covers it up where it looks like my skin but better and it's not super duper matte but it's also not super dewy it's like that perfect in between absolutely loveless now let's conceal and define this face. We're going to be going into the Ofra Cosmetics Concealer Wheels. We have two shades over here. We have the Dermatones and then we have the Deep Corrector Wheel. I'm going to go into the Deep Corrector one just because I am more on the deep tan side. So taking this wheel, we are going to be going into this shade right here. And I'm just going to tap this right under my under eye to basically conceal, correct, and highlight all at the same time. Look how beautiful that color is and it's highlighting my under eye so nicely. Then I'm going to go into the sponge really, really lightly. Just tap this into my skin and tap and buff this out. Look at the before and the after. Honestly, it's one product that does three things without going into three different products. It conceals, it highlights, as well as it corrects all at the same time. Working with the same deep color wheel, we're going to be going into the deepest shade right in the middle and we are going to cream contour. Literally just going to tap this. Oh my god, look at that color. Literally so darn perfect. So we're just going to tap this out and literally just tap 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 until this blends out again this does not take a lot of elbow grease so do not be afraid that this is going to take like really long to blend out because i promise you it will now for honestly my favorite part which is cream blush and we're going to be going into the brand new cream blushes from over cosmetics of course this is their new ride or die collection we're going to be mixing two shades we have truly as well as a loyal truly is their deepest shades so if you are more of a deeper skin tone than i am trust me this is going to show up beautifully on your skin tone so i literally just swipe this on my skin and then i take a little bit of loyal and pop on two small little dots i'm going to show you guys how how easy this blends out and it does not move or budge any of the product that you have underneath any of your foundation cream bronzer anything like that it's just so darn pretty it gives me such a beautiful natural flush without doing too much all right let's go in and set everything we're gonna be using the derma mineral loose powder foundation this is in the shade sandy beach let's tap this right under our eye look at a filter 
literally it's a filter for your skin i'm using really light pressure and again i am just tapping this powder into my skin this powder does not give me any type of like weird flashback or anything like that so if you are deeper or around my skin tone you do not have to worry about that let's bronze up the skin even more we're going to be going into the brand new blushes from over cosmetics i have two shades here we have unit as well as squad i'll be very honest if there's any one that you should get if you are like medium to like darker skin tone Oh my god, get this one. This is in the shade Squad. So we're taking a little bit of the bronzer on this compact. A little bit goes a very long way. Trust me, you don't need a lot. And I'm just going to tap this really lightly right in the hollows of my cheeks. Look at that beautiful shadow that it's already giving me. Again, a little bit goes a very long way. Do not be heavy handed with these powders because they are super, super duper pigmented. For blush, I'm actually going to be mixing both of the blush shades in Squad as well as Unit. This one is a little bit more of a satiny finish and then this one over here is more of a matte finish. Again, use a little bit at a time, a little bit goes a long way and we are just going to feather this onto our skin. For highlight, we are going to be going into my collab palette with Ofra Cosmetics. If you guys didn't know, this is what she looks like. She is very loved. She is very abused because I use this all of the time. We're going to be going into, of course, this shade because clearly I've hit pan on this. How? I don't know. We're taking this shade and we're going to pop this right on our cupid's bow. And then, of course, on the button of our nose. Oh my god, look how pretty that is. And then right down the bridge of our nose. Very last step for any makeup look is to, of course, go into setting spray. We're going to be using the Makeup Fixer, obviously, from Ofra Cosmetics. The spray on this is so darn good. We are just going to pop this all over. Okay, listen, before we move on to eyes, I'm going to zoom you guys into my face because I want you guys to see how smooth and how beautiful. Can you guys, can you not shake? <laughs> How beautiful my skin looks. It just looks like my skin, but better. Everything is very, very smooth. You're zoomed real up close and personal on my face. Any imperfections that if there was any with these products, you would see. Absolutely, absolutely love that. All right, let's move on to eyes now. I promise you, this looks much more complicated than it actually is. Super duper duper easy. So the first palette we're going to be going into is the Over Cosmetics Mini Mixed Good to Go palette. And we're going to be going into this shade right here, which I believe is in the shade Intentions. It's a beautiful bronzer shade as well. We are popping this in our upper crease area. Make sure you wing this shadow out way past the tails of your brow. Take your time going with a little bit of product at a time and just build and keep on buffing the shadow in to deepen this up really nicely we're actually going to move over to our squad shade and we're picking up the bronzer in this compact and i'm telling you guys these powders are just so multi-purpose you can also use them as an eyeshadow and look how nicely this is just going to deepen everything in and give me much more dimension again they blend really really nicely super duper pigmented i know this probably looks a little harsh and a little crazy but do not worry we are going to blend everything out we're going to move back into our good to go palette and we're picking up this beautiful kind of like orange transition shade basically popping this on a brush and as opposed to buffing we're actually just going to really lightly use tapping motions and tap out the edges we're going to cut out this crease and we are not going to be using concealer we are going to be using our cream blush we're going back into the shade truly and i'm going to be using the doe foot applicator that this has because you do actually get a lot of control with it and i'm literally just going to cut this crease out with this applicator we're basically cutting this all the way out and then taking a little brush i know this probably looks a little crazy and a little scary for some people but i promise you it's super duper easy take a little brush here use really light pressure and tap 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 this out and into your skin basically for our lid we're actually still going to be using the shade squad we're going into the blush shade that's in this compact and i'm popping the shade about like a little bit more than halfway on our lid but look how pigmented this color is so darn pretty for this empty space that we have on our lid we're going to be going into our mini mix palette and we're going to be picking up this beautiful deep rose gold shimmer shade 
oh how sticking pretty is that really quickly our lower lash line is honestly very 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 easy we're going into the shade squad going into our very deep bronzer shade and we're going to run that on our lower lash line now don't ever forget the step you're in a corner and brow bone highlights and for that we're going into our mini mix palette we are going to be mixing because i'm a queen when it comes to mixing and we're going to take a little bit of this shade and a little bit of this highlight shade and we are just going to pop this in our inner corner i'm going to go off camera and finish up the eyes which is literally just lashes and some liner but for liner i am going to be using the Ofra cosmetics fixed line eyeliner for my wing all right this look is almost done we have our lips to do and that is it for lip liner we're going into Ofra cosmetics chestnut lip liner for lipstick we're going to be going into aspen which is their matte liquid lipstick We are completely done. Eyes, face, lips, everything over cosmetics. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more to show you guys again how everything looks. All right, my love, so this is the end of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. And do not forget, there was a little surprise for you guys in the description box. So definitely go and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.